Welcome back to Jibber Jab Reviews, everyone, and more updates regarding the upcoming launch of the Galaxy Watch 3. Well, the latest leaks out now revolve around the sizes and colors that are going to be available for the now nine different variations of the Galaxy 3, including potential pricing, which may scare the crap out of many of you. First, though, let's have a look at what you get. Well, as expected, you're going to be able to pick this up in either a Bluetooth or LTE version, and that's going to be for both sizes of the watch, meaning both the 41 millimeter and the 45 millimeter. You'll then also get a choice of a silver, black, or bronze color for that case. Now, interestingly enough, there will only be one size and color choice for that premium titanium model, which is only going to be available in black. And that's a little disappointing, as I was hoping we'd at least see the new bronze color offered in titanium. Now, granted, the titanium case is also going to come with a premium price, and perhaps Samsung didn't want to offer too many variations in titanium because they really want to test the interest level among customers for this new material and to see exactly how many people are willing to pay extra for it. Which brings me to the next part of the leak, and that's what we can expect in terms of pricing. Well, reports out now are that the watch is going to be in the range of 400 to 600 US dollars, with the lower range most likely encompassing the 41 millimeter variants, with a 45 millimeter falling in around the $500 mark, and then that upper price around the $600 will definitely be reserved for that titanium version. Now, for comparison's sake, the original Galaxy Watch came out around $300, and the newest smartwatch from Apple, which is the 5 series, starts at $399, which means Samsung will be positioning itself as one of the most expensive smartwatches on the market. The question is, will customers see the value in it? And sure, this new smartwatch will be a step up over the original Galaxy Watch in that you're getting 8 gigabytes now of internal storage, you're getting 8 sensors for health tracking, including blood pressure and ECG readings, and it's going to come packed with the newest 5.5 Tizen operating system, and it's going to be preloaded with new watch faces, you're going to get a new cycling tracking widget, Spotify is also going to come pre-installed, you're going to get a week view option now for your calendar, there's also going to be a new music app, and even the weather app is being revamped with backgrounds that match the actual weather which is showing outside for your area. So yes, you are getting some more goodies over the original watch, but I also expected all the software items that I just mentioned to also be available on the Galaxy Watch and its sister active series in the coming months through an over-the-air Tizen update. So Galaxy 3 users will have some bragging rights right out of the gate, but expect a software update to be rolled out to the other Galaxy owners before the end of this year. So what do you guys think about this new information being released, both in terms of the color and sizing choices, those updated software pieces, and of course that price tag which has now climbed to the $400 to $600 range. Is all of this enough for you to want the Galaxy 3 right out of the gate, or are you going to hold off so that you can do some side-to-side -side comparisons with the original Galaxy Watch? Let me know in the comments below. As usual, I'll keep you guys posted about further updates as they happen. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you all in our next video. Until then, take care.